I think I may have discovered my favorite asset flip of all time. This is a Steam Greenlight game called The Survivor Forest. It's a game kind of like Rust where you are in a massively multiplayer world and you go around crafting things, getting uh, resources, hunting for food, fighting against players, making weapons and houses and all this cool stuff. Looks pretty neat, right? Well, I mean, it's it's too good to be true. Of course, you already knew that. Otherwise, I wouldn't be making this video, of course. Uh, this is actually an asset flip. There's been a couple of these on Greenlight. Now, this one is Ultimate Survival. It's available on the Unity Store, and it's a completely pre-made uh, version of a game that you can buy for $50, and um, you can use it when you're making your own survival games and all this stuff. Um, that's totally fine. If you want to take some stuff from it, make your own survival game, that's good. That, that's cool. Cool beans. I'm cool with that. The, um, the problem is this developer, uh, what are they called? I think Craftlands. There we go. Yeah, they're called Craftlands and they have literally uploaded the full version of the Unity asset pack. Like, th like it's the same thing. They haven't changed anything. In fact, you can actually go and look at their trailer, and it's the exact same trailer that you see if you go onto the Unity storefront and look at Ultimate Survival. Like, they downloaded the Ultimate Survival uh, building teaser trailer, and then re-uploaded it, and now they're trying to get it passed on Greenlight. Of course, everyone's figured this out already, but I, I just thought it's interesting, and stupid, and hilarious that this makes it so far what why are assets still like honestly i get that assets can be used in games to enhance an experience and to develop games and everything but it seems like they're a lot more trouble than they're worth because the amount of times i've seen something like this versus the amount of times that i've seen assets used properly to enhance a game or to be put in something that actually ends up being good and is original it's got to be like a hundred to one at this point, and it, it kind of freaks me out. So just so you know, if you're on green light and you see any game that's using the ultimate survival pack, then they've probably just downloaded it and re-uploaded it. So that's the thing we're going to see for a while. You think people are going to pay like $500 for Steam Direct to put this stuff up? Probably. It, it It'll happen, I bet. It's gonna be a thing. I'm